Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to part two of the circuit venting videos. Today we're going to cover clause 2531 parts 2, 5, 6, and 11. Part two. Fixtures with fixture outlet pipes less than two inches in size shall be separately vented or separately circuit vented. In this picture here, we have a kitchen sink that's draining into the middle of our circuit vented branch and it has a fixed outlet pipe of one and a half inches. Therefore, it requires its own vent, which will actually be that individual vent coming off. Now this clause also states that we can circuit vent a bunch of these together. And the next clause that we go through will have an example of this. Part five, a symmetrically connected relief vent is permitted to serve as a combined relief vent for a maximum of two branches that are circuit vented provided there are not more than eight circuit vented fixtures connected between the combined relief vent and each circuit vent. When we first look at this diagram, let's point out something that happened in clause two there. We have eight showers with one and a half inch fixture outlet pipes that are circuit vented together. So that's what it could look like. The symmetrically connected relief vent is a little tricky to show here, but what we have here is a double Y connection with eight showers circuit vented together on one side and eight flush tank water closets circuit vented together on a different side. They both have their own circuit vents, but they have a shared or common relief vent. Well, let's break part six down into two parts. Additional circuit vents shall be required where each cumulative horizontal change in direction of branch served by a circuit vent exceeds 45 degrees between vent pipe connections. So in this diagram, we have a typical circuit vented system with eight water closets, but we have an offset right in the middle there, and it's using two 45 degree elbows. So we've exceeded the 45 degree limit. Therefore, we need to put in an, an additional circuit vent just like that. If you ever need to do this in the future, the way around this is to use two 22 and a half degree elbows. Then you don't exceed the 45 degree rule. Part six B, additional circuit vents shall be required where more than eight circuit vented fixtures are connected to a branch between vent pipe connections. In this picture, we have 10 flush tank water closets and I have eight water closets on one side of the additional circuit vent and two on the other side of it. The key, maximum eight circuit vented fixtures between vent pipes. Now, just for clarity, let's look at this picture. I have eight flush tank water closets and a kitchen sink draining into the circuit vented branch. Now, the eight flush tank water closets are circuit vented because well, they don't have any vent other than the circuit vent itself. But the kitchen sink has its own individual vent. That is not considered to be a circuit vented fixture. So there are only eight circuit vented fixtures in this diagram. Part 11. The hydraulic load on a circuit vent shall include the hydraulic load from fixtures connected to the branch served by the circuit vent, but shall not include the hydraulic load from fixtures permitted by sentences 3, 4, and 5. So this clause is directing us on how we're supposed to count up our fixture units or our hydraulic load to size the circuit vent, which is this part here. This clause directs us to count up every single fixture unit that drains into the circuit vented branch. So that would be the eight flush tank water closets and that kitchen sink. But we're not supposed to count up anything from sentences three, four, and five, which is the relief vent connection. So I have a relief vent of six fixture units with that bathroom group those six fixture units would not be counted into that number. So the hydraulic load for this circuit vent would be the eight flush tank water closets at four fixture units each, that is 32 fixture units, plus the fixture unit load for a kitchen sink, which is just one and a half. That puts me at 33 and a half fixture units to size my circuit vent. Now to learn how to size up this system, you have to wait for video three. So I hope this video helped you out and you have yourself a great day.